Community leaders and people who live in the college area are meeting tonight to talk about their vision for growth in the coming years. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Marcella Lee. And I'm Jesse Pagan. Carlo is off tonight. That meeting starts in an hour, and some people are frustrated over what the city is proposing for the area. CBS 8's Brian White is in the college area working for you tonight to explain. I'm here on 59th Street, just off Adams Avenue in the college area, where people around here say the single-family neighborhoods like this one are threatened by upzoning being proposed by city planners. I'm frustrated, I'm sad, I'm angry, I am all of the above. Dana Givett has called this street home for nearly four years, and she likes living here. These are all my neighbors. Um, these people have been here 20 some odd years and raised their family here. She and many of her neighbors are upset about the city's proposal to change the zoning around here to allow for more density and housing to be built. It would be very sad and I don't know that I would stick around and and wait to see myself surrounded by three to five story apartment buildings or townhouses because that's not what I bought into. City planners have been involved with the community plan update for the college area over the past couple years. And more recently, they released some draft proposals to spell major changes for single family neighborhoods. The city's offered us two plans. Plan A with townhouses is bad and plan B with three to five story apartment houses is worse. And they believe any upzoning belongs on the major corridors like on El Cajon Boulevard or Montezuma Zuma Road, but not here in their quiet neighborhoods. Rather than trying to demonize homeowners, bring everybody on into the table and just let's have a discussion. When this planning process started, the only available data for population and housing needs over the next 30 years was from Sandag projections made in 2013. Those numbers were much larger than the more recent data released by Sandag last year. We don't have to plan for a 95% increase in population, only a 35% increase in population. After talking with the city's planning department, they assure me that they plan to incorporate the new Sandag projections. And they offered this statement, which reads in part, quote, planning for more homes has never been more critical, and it matters where these homes are located. People need homes in areas where it's easy to get around by walking, biking, transit, or car. Planning for more homes does not always result in more homes, but it is a necessary step in the right direction. Meanwhile, neighbors in the area just want to feel like their voice is heard too. The city just comes in and says, well, you guys are NIMBY and we're just going to cram this on top of you. There's no trade-off there. In the college area, I'm Brian White for CBS 8.